Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, things are not looking so good for Eternals. Oh, shocker. Uh, really not looking good. In fact, uh, Eternals is one of the lowest rated. It actually might be the lowest rated at this point uh, MCU film. Uh, it was kind of fluctuating between 65 and 66 percent, mm -hmm. which I saw it, it at 65 today, but I think it's right now at 66. Yeah, we just refreshed it. And as of recording this video, it's at 66 percent. And now the other day we were talking about how it was at 72 and that wasn't good. And then it had gone up to like 75 and then it came back down again. Yeah. And, you know, I'll tell you, I'm subscribed to a lot of, uh, you know, movie news sites and almost all the reviews I've seen have been negative And the complaint has been the same. It's boring. Mm -hmm. It's a boring ass movie. It looked like a boring movie in the trailers. Yep. Uh, YouTubers like ourselves said, hey, this movie looks like it's going to be boring. We got vilified for it. We got vilified for it. And guess what? The critics said, yeah, this movie is boring as hell. Now, sometimes the critics will say something sucks and the audiences will like it. I, and I and I, I agree with the audiences. This time, uh, I have to agree with the critics just when I'm seeing it look like shit. But I'm waiting to see if, because you can buy, you know, positive reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm waiting to see how much they uh, send out the cavalry to try to, to raise those scores with the audience scores. Yeah, so let's let's talk about this. And, I, you know, is it going to affect, you know, affect the box office? I, I, I kind of wonder because, you know, Shang-Chi now, they, they did a lot of damage control. People weren't interested in the movie. And they were then, more interested in that than this. Yeah, because that's actually, that's accessible. That is a, a martial arts movie set they in the MCU. Literally yeah. took... Uh, marketing away from Shang-Chi to market this before Shang-Chi came out. I mean, and this wasn't coming out for months. And I, I, I knew then. I'm like, oh, they know they're in effing trouble. But before we get into it any further. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 238,000 subs. Woo! Uh, thank you for the support. That is the most excitement you're going to hear from Geeky in regards to the Eternals. Probably. Uh, ever, because I don't think a lot of people were going woohoo after watching I don't think we're even gonna go out to the theater to see this I don't. One. I don't think so. I think we're gonna skip, we actually went to go see Shang-Chi. Uh -huh. uh, I actually wanted to see that one. Yeah. You didn't, but I did. We went, we went opening night. And or no, or opening the, first, like, the first yeah. couple days, um, I think. And then, but this one, zero desire to see it since the first trailer. I'm like, this looks like a train wreck. They're trying to shove too many new characters into one film. Um, it's up its own ass and I don't want to see it. Yeah. Nobody wants to see anybody up their own ass. No. Uh, unless you pay just, extra no. for that. That's Disney plus plus. <laughs> um, so anyway, Grace Disney Randolph. after dark. Yeah. Grace Randolph, who, you know, she said she gave it a tomato, but she, she even had a very middling review. Mm -hmm. She's like, it's, and she said, yeah, it's going to be interesting. She to see said it had enough in it that was kind of new to give it a fresh rating, but you know. Rolling Stone. I thought would be like on Team Eternals. Uh, I, I got this yesterday afternoon. The hot gods of Eternals will bore you to death with their feelings. Because that's what you want to see when you go see an MCU movie. Being bored to death with feelings. Uh, CBR, again, another outlet. This is like the second or third review, I think. Yeah, they like, keep trying to, yeah. Yeah, solid but not stellar. Um, the Rotten Tomatoes score is not stellar. This is two days ago. Well, it's gotten worse. Uh, it's actually amongst the lowest MCU scores on Rotten Tomatoes right now. It's a bit above Iron Man. Well, this was uh, yesterday. Iron it's, Man 2, yeah. Iron Man 2, yeah. Uh, it's it's down. Let's see. We'll hit refresh and see if they're... Nope, we're still at 66. So it is tied with Thor The Dark World. Well, I do want to point out, too, there's something that was interesting to me. Oh, man, even Incredible Hulk's better. <laughs> um, one thing that was interesting to me was even the ones that were listed as fresh... It, when you read the quote they gave, I would have assumed that was they would have they didn't like it. Like they're giving it a fresh score because they said that well uh, between fresh and rotten, I think is more fresh than rotten. But it doesn't sound like they liked it that much either, except for a few that just loved it to death because um, they think that they're highbrow and this. And that thankfully, this movie has better class than the other MCU movies. And it's like, but it's an MCU movie. People expect a certain thing with an MCU movie. Yeah, you can only apologize for a movie so much, uh -huh. and uh, we you know we saw the critics turn on the rise of Skywalker. Now, I, I mean, I thought I thought a lot of it was because you know a lot of the critics like the Last Jedi. That's exactly what it was. Yes, um, and I think that was a part of it. But the movie itself, uh, we still haven't seen the whole thing. I've watched. I've clips. never watched any of it. I mean, just yeah, a couple of clips off the internet, and that's it. I've watched clips. I know they fly now YouTube, and yeah, and, and I'm all the Jedi, and that's about it. I watched Leia's death scene. I'm like, what the hell is this? That. It was like a Michael Bay, you know, cut. Like, oh, Leia died. When did this happen? Like, what? I don't yeah. understand what's Oops, going spoilers. on. So, oops, for a two year old movie. So not good. Um, 
you know, we have Eternals reviews out. Critics blast it, saying it's one of Marvel's dullest efforts and a vast misfire. This this uh, site is actually an Indian news site. Oh, and this movie was designed to appeal to India. It's even got a Bollywood. Yeah, because Disney figured, I guess, that they weren't winning China. So now their big thing is Disney Plus and Hotstar, uh, mostly in India. So I think they're trying to they were trying to really push to that audience now. And even they're kind of like, eh. Yeah, right. Uh, playlist says an uh, involved an involved vast misfire and one of Marvel's dullest mm-hmm. efforts in years. They did. I saw that one. So let's see how much worse has gotten. Like I said, when we dipped in on this before, it was uh, it was at like seventy two percent. And um, let's see here. Yeah, Rolling Stone, Rotten, Io Nine. That's surprising. Eternals feels like a balloon that tried to hold it all together but was filled to bursting. It's too much and not yep. enough. The result is ambitious, well-made, kind of flat, and unfortunately, a forgettable film. Uh, flies high, grapples with huge themes and ideas, tries to keep check with humor and heart, but the whole thing feels so overblown and overwrought that you're kind of you kind of walk out in a daze. Uh, wow, that's not good. That's really not good, Disney. That's not good. Did you run out of money? Yeah, I, I just you know. Oh, they did. They did run out of money, and Bob Bob Chipek's in charge now. Oh, is that what it is? I don't know. Yeah, so a lot of... Yeah, that- well, even this one here. This film is massive on every level. This is listed as fresh. Both with its story and scale. At times, the narrative can come across as a bit messy. But its heart always shines through. But they always do the 7.5 out of 10. Where I'm from, that's like a D. Yeah, I love I love this. This is a, this is a, a you know, the at least I tried uh, card. At least they tried. And you see this a lot with, you know, people who work on games. The games are bad or they work on comics. The comics are bad. It's like somebody worked really hard on this. You shouldn't, you shouldn't make fun of it because they worked really hard well, on it. Well, they this. have no problem making fun of our videos. I know. You're like, you know, we worked really hard on it. But you think you can come in and make fun of us? We worked really hard on all this hatred. That's okay. You have no idea. We how- don't always hate things though. Now what gets me is like immediately they'll go into your video and they'll just see the thumbnail and be like, you said you can't say anything nice about it. It's like, if you watch a video, I said many things nice about it. We have deliberately trolled people like that. We've actually got like with the Shiris, especially the Shira, the Netflix Shira fans, they'll take any bait. So we've actually put up like a really- They're masturbators. They are. Uh, we put up a really like negative sounding thumbnail and title to the video. And then we wound up saying nice things. About Shira and the show. And Among It. And they're and like, you can't say anything nice. It's like, ha ha, loser, you didn't watch the video. No. Ju- just to troll them. It's just, yeah, anyway, what was the point? Uh, the point. The point being that uh, we're going to watch this uh, beautiful train wreck. And we're watching the train wreck, not the movie. No. I, this is, this is yeah, this is going to be the first MCU movie I think we skip. I, I don't think I have yeah. any desire to see this. They're not going to offer it on Disney+. Plus. I don't think I would shell out 30 bucks to watch this anyway. Mm-hmm. I would not. Uh, it just looks boring. And the weird thing is the comic it's based on, you know, the Jack Kirby art is so gonzo over the top ridiculous. And that would have been kind of fun. You know, but we can't do that. We can't, you know, we got to be serious, especially when you're peddling diversity and inclusion. You got to be completely serious. Mm-hmm. At all times. The trailers look completely serious. Like, there's, like, one joke about Captain America. I'm like, what? Well, the way it sounds to me from the reviews is when they try to be funny, it just doesn't fit the movie. Yeah. And it's, like, so it's not it's not a Marvel movie. If it was by something else, maybe it would work. Uh, I know what Squicking said. He's, like, why would you want to take – it's a brand of uh, the MCU. You spent all this time building all these movies to fit into each other, and they, there's a certain way you expect. Why the hell would you want a standalone film, show those characters, and it doesn't even fit with the rest of it? It doesn't make any sense to do that. Wow, Cinemaholics, there's a small comfort in knowing that there will probably never be a Marvel film like this one. Even if you end up hating it or finding it completely forgettable, you'll never have another shitty Thank Marvel God. movie like that. Because they're, they're probably going to look at it and they're going to be well, like, Well, I don't yeah. know. The Marvels haven't come out yet. The Marvels hasn't come out yet. It might be, might be even better. We're going to wrap this up because I don't know what else to say. You don't know what else to say. Uh, we're recording this video and we look kind of like like these guys. Yeah. Right here. Like this this movie looks boring as fuck. We thought it did from the trailer and... Said it did from the trailer. Said it did and apparently critics agree it's, it's a boring movie. So the one time the critics actually agree with us. One time. But I am waiting to see what they do on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm waiting for these five star audience reviews to they'll, show up. They'll cherry pick quotes from critics and they'll they'll do the TV blitz. Well, yeah, they'll do that for TV for sure. They always do that. But I'm saying in the in the audience reviews. Oh, I'm yeah. waiting for all these audience reviews to come in. A five star, like we saw a sheer five star girl lesbians. Be like five star. 
you know, space gods, yay. You know, it would be like, you know, five star. I, it's something that will sound like a bot because we've seen it before. Yep. And I'm waiting for that. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. All right, guys, going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.